Hey, Rock Solid people, it's Pat, and we are about to take a look at Robert Palmer, the Island Records Years box set. This was the most recent GoFundMe that we did, so thank you for everyone who funded this. The winner was Chris McIntosh, and I'm gonna do these videos. I'm gonna input all these CDs into my iTunes, and then I'm gonna send this beauty to Chris. But we couldn't do these if you guys didn't participate. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This is cool. It's a 12 by 12 book, which I like. That's gonna look sweet on your shelf. Contains nine albums with tons of bonus tracks. The albums are Sneakin' Sally Through the Alley, Pressure Drop, Some People Can Do What They Like, Double Fun, Secrets, Clues, Maybe It's Live, Pride, and of course, the big one, Riptide. Now, tons of bonus tracks on these. Look at this, Riptide. The original album has nine tracks. This one's got 17 tracks. Tons of bonus tracks. Lots of bonus, lots of bonus, everything. Everything's got bonus tracks. All the lyrics are in here, I believe. Let me see what it says. Da, 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 the Island Records Years Deluxe 9 CD book set. That's right, because this is a hardback book. And uh, B-sides, demos, alternate takes. 28 page, 12 by 12 book. Contains the album lyrics along with annotation by Daryl Easlia. If I'm saying that right, I'm probably not. All right, let's open it up. Probably just gonna be one video for this. Probably gonna be pretty simple, but uh, let's open it up. Use my fingernail over here. I will not damage the hype sticker. I'll make sure that that is included in this thing. Can I peel it off now, I wonder? I like to peel off the hype stick, but yeah. Again, when I purchased albums when I was a kid, I never knew the hype sticker might peel off this easily, but it does. So now when I peel off the hype sticker, I stick it somewhere in the set. Just because I like to have it as like a little uh, extra collectible. Let me see if there's a clean page in here where I can stick the hype sticker. What if I just put it right there? Where's a clean, is there a clean page? I don't know, maybe at the end. Huh, well, all right, let's go through it. Hype sticker will be somewhere. All right, there he is, the good looking man known as Robert Palmer. You know him from Power Station also, and his solo career. All right, this is pretty cool. They're sneaking Sally through the alley. I already like this. I think this is great. Okay, Pressure Drop's got a little bit of a, a, a nude butt on it. That's what they chose to do. All right. So be it. Some people can do what they like. There you go. Double fun. This guy passed away way too young. Way, way, way too young. It's another great looking photo of him. This thing is really put together well, folks. I can tell you that. There's secrets. It's very sturdy. Maybe it's live. Does that mean it's not live? I think it's live. Um, oh, how did these go? Oh yeah, these went one, two, three, four. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Here's clues. I like how it has the Island Records years here. Good job putting this together, seriously. There's Pride. Guess what? The ninth CD is getting its own page. There it is. What a great photo. I always love that photo. And what does this disc look like? There it is, Riptide. All right. And then what's on the other side of this? Oh, right there is where I'm going to put the hype sticker. Right there. Right there. I'm going to put it right in the center. Like that. Get all the bubbles out of it. Come on, that's a good place to put it, right? Kind of centered. All right, so 
Again, nudity. All right. Here's the booklet. Now, I thought the pages were going to be a part of the book, but they're not. This thing. So I, I would rather have had this inside, attached inside. But for whatever reason, it slides out. All right. So let's take a look at this 28-page booklet. See what we got. See the back. Go put the hype sticker there. Chose not to. All right. All right, this is basically gonna be pretty simple. I think you're gonna get a nice, big picture of the album artwork. And then you're gonna get the lyrics and the players. Sailing Shoes, Lil George from, of course, Little Feet. You know, you're gonna get who played on all these tracks. Richard T. All right, I like that. I like when we get all the album credits. Through it all, there's you, Steve Winwood on Fender Rhodes. All right, here's Pressure Drop. And again, it's gonna tell us who played on the whole album. All the credits are up here. Mus Muscle Shoals, Horns. Pretty cool. Some people can do what they like. Jeff Picaro on drums. Bill Payne on keyboards. Those are some of the names popping out at me. Double fun. A couple of ladies took their bikinis off. He doesn't care. He's fine with it. Who plays on double fun? Anyone that we sit know? Anyone that I know? Bill Payne again on keyboards. Michael Brecker, Randy Brecker on horns. Nice. Go to the next page. Someone's getting a shave. This is Secrets. Can We Still Be Friends, written by Ton Rundgren. We know that song. These are the players. I don't know those guys, though. Apparently, they play on the whole album. Maybe that was his band at the time. I like this booklet. Clues. Now we get some different people on some different songs. Andy Frazier on bass. Chris Franz, bass drum from Talking Heads. All right, moving on. Maybe it's live. Who was in the live band? Robert Palmer. Played guitar too. Chris Bishop, Michael Daw, Alan Mansfield, Jack Waldman. I believe it has the lyrics for the studio tracks. All right. This is Pride. Got any cool players on this? All right. And last but not least, Riptide. Now, this is very busy. Hard to read the lyrics. Uh, this must have been maybe the insert in the original album. I'd rather have it be black on white, but what, what am I gonna do? Uh, who's on this? Tony Thompson, Bernard Edwards, Andy Taylor does guitar, and Addicted to Love, Lenny Pickett, Shaka Khan, vocal arrangement on Addicted to Love, Shaka Khan. I love Hyperactive, great song. Didn't mean to turn you on. All right. And then here we're gonna get some notes. An extremely talented cat 
Robert Palmer, the island record years. Robert existed in a strange stratum somewhere above cult figure and below major pop stars, says Chris Blackwell of Island Records. Pretty good quote. So yeah, we're gonna get some stuff to read. Some singles. This is good. Yeah, this is worth the money. Especially if you want it, then it's really worth it. I'm trying to see if it says uh, when everything was remastered, but I know that it was, so. But I like to have, I like to read that. I like to see it, like where was, where was the box set remastered? I'm sure it's right in here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, but I'm sure it is. And that's it. That's the box set. Or the book set. Whatever you want to call it. Nice, though. Let me slide this in here gently, because I don't, it'll never be out again. All right. I can't wait to ingest these CDs into my iTunes and give these remastered versions a listen. Again, thanks for supporting these giveaways. Thanks for listening to Rock Solid. Go to rocksolidpodcast.com for all things about the show. And we'll talk soon.